How do you make cyber risk management work? In the previous video, we talked about the need for constantly looking for vulnerabilities to prevent threat actors from getting a toehold in your systems. That sounds like a never ending story, and it is. But it is nevertheless the key to your and your organization's well being. The cybersecurity level that indulges this well being is sometimes called cybersecurity or cyber risk posture. That includes how your customers view you, and a poor posture will hurt your business. So the basics of cyber risk management are straightforward. There is no shortage of models out there, but I like to keep the model as simple as possible. Due to its perpetual nature, it is a circular process that comprises four steps. Identify risks, assess the identified risks, apply controls to mitigate the risks, and monitor that the controls have the desired effect and monitor for new threats and vulnerabilities. Then the process starts all over again. The cadence of this process should not be predetermined alone, like once every 12 months. The monitor phase should overrule a schedule to start a new cycle. For example, if you see that a new vulnerability in a used component has been disclosed, this should invoke a new cycle where you identify and assess the risks associated with this new vulnerability. What threats may exploit it? What is the impact? How can we mitigate it? And so on and so forth. What is missing in this picture? Oh yes, your data. From time to time I see risk assessments that are looking for risks everywhere without linking it to any particular data. That's not well invested time and effort. Wherever you are in your cyber risk management process, never ever lose sight of what you are supposed to protect, your data. Or if you are communicating with someone with a longer tie than yours, it's common sense to use the term asset. So before heading off to do some serious cyber risk management work, do an effort to identify your key assets. That would be your crown jewels that hopefully have some attention in terms of cybersecurity already. Try and delineate the service that is operationalizing the asset. It should include computer systems, applications, networks, and various types of users. When you've got a good picture of this, you can get cracking with identifying risks. Now, you've got a few approaches to choose between to start your cyber risk identification and which one is the right for you. So in the next video, we'll discuss this and more. So see you there.